be the world's superpower, you have to be powerful in every nation. Open your mind. Try to think. If you don't respect me for anything I say, say you end with me. Respect me for the one thing I say to you. The central intelligence is the thing. The first line of defense for the United States that collects and analyzes intelligence can never invite anybody for a good reason. Period. You don't have to trust me, go ask your grandma. Or go ask your grandpa. If he or she been around for a long time, he will tell you. They are not people, it's not an agency that invite you to come to business. They don't invite you to come to development. They invite you because you have done something wrong. That the intelligent girl analyst pointed to you for doing something not right. They are not a branch of the U.S. government that engages in talking about economic development. That are talking about building your role and building your thing. And no. If you don't trust me, talk to far intelligent person who understand the U.S. government. If they tell you something contrary to what I tell you, don't never watch me see me on life. They only call you because intelligence collector and analyze point to you. That's the only reason. They are law enforcement agency. They are not economic panels. <laughs> they are not your development panels. Sorry. This is unprecedented. The first time it's worrisome for a certain president of the like, Republic of Liberia to say, come. When you come in, bring the person, bring the person, bring the person. America is where America's interest is. Everywhere that America has interest is America. Intelligence system is built like oxygen. When you breathe it, they're there. You can't survive as an oxygen. So be, you can't survive from being under the watch of the intelligence. They see you. The American man be feeling right or not because he loves you. Maybe you get something in a hole for him that way he wants you to play one protect that another you love you that you be the fence. The teeth, when I fool you that teeth, they can they don't different from the one. The guy can be taking you all to go fire you on the, to go to go to go terminate you from the employment you he say legend, you ask him about your wife and children, ask him about what you want your investigation. He escort you to go fire you. He escort you to go fire you from the job. Then you shake your hand, tell you wish you good luck, and they say we should go in the next job. He very laughed when you let him be going fire you. Be nice. There's a different from be nice and be good. To be nice is just a, it's just action. Be good is a character. Character is good. Nice is action. You can be wicked and be nice. Oh, I know it sounds funny. You see, you go to the court, you go to business, and you see customer, how you doing? You are welcome to still have that customer service smile. They're not good. They're just nice to encourage you to go back. Good person who can't act nice. Nice person can't act good. I will save that one for another topic, another day. I have a whole social discussion there. That just because somebody acting nice to you, does that mean the person is good? To understand, nice is always for some benefit. Good is always no, no street attached. But nice is for a reason. I'm nice to her, man, so at least she can do the one for us. I'm nice to you, so you must give her money. That's nice. Good, you can't act good. Good is already part of you. My heart pains for my country every day. I ask God, what can you do to take your race library off my mind? So that the feeling for library should never ever exist again. I try to not go and I can't do it. I try to forget about library completely. I can't do it. Because I just love my country. I worry about my country. I worry about my people. I want to see people living decent life. My heart too clean to have hate. But what I can do is I cannot compromise my feeling. That's who I am. I don't know how to pretend. I don't know how to be in a situation that I don't want to be in, but I just want to be in it because I want to please the public. I want to keep a friendship. I want to keep a partisanship. I don't know. The moment I, I don't like you, I don't want to be around you. The moment I pretend to be around you, you just know my body loving my beard. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I just tell me. Yeah, yeah, that's just what I, I, I don't have the ability to fake. So I gave you the opportunity to change. If you show me no sign and symptom of changing, then I can make the decision. But I will never keep myself in any situation just because I want to please other people or I want to keep certain friendship. You see the country they call Liberia? It's not a normal country. It's not normal. Anytime somebody sending a friend somewhere because they get some dirty thing in common. So you go there, even though the law say you protect them to do anything on your own, but all being a fellow, they better get a job. 
you not stupid or not do it because the sea law will leave open it that you can be removed. You can if someone stay here for the second you turn ninety year old, that is law. Nobody interfere in your, 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 your function, that is law. But if you do X, Y, Z, you can be impeached and removed. But the constitution is not like in lock. It's not lock. The constitution is like a book, but it's not sealed up. It's like a bottle. When you read one picture, one scripture, no, no, God said we can just drink. No. They go there and say, God told Timothy to drink for his stomach sick. Then the question will come, are you Timothy? So they drink that God said, drink little one for his stomach sick. He will just one, it's not for you. If a Timothy who was having stomach problem, then are you. So how the constitution look at that? To face that bureau, you need to bring honest people to leadership. Decent people. Or else, that bureau, it will always be a place and not a country. You got to call a place, a country that will be functioning system into place that brings about decency and opportunity. That locality now can be considered a country. But Liberia is a place. A place is just is a locality where people just into our social and just do anything. There's no law and order and no behavior control. Do anything you want to do that Liberia, that place, that country. But we still call ourselves educated people. We are the most uneducated or civilized citizens on the, on the face of the earth. No matter how educated or librarian tell you they are, don't worry about the education. It will not be reflected in the action. Just get a few minutes and watch them. The other two completely opposite to the education they're bragging about. Because their behavior is just opposite to how an educated person is supposed to conduct themselves. Educated people prepare and create a system that makes it smooth. Education. The ability to make you think about solving problems in the future, providing a solution to them for to solve the future problem. That's the education. Most of all the things we learn in the classroom, you may not even have the opportunity to apply any of them in the street. You have been facing with different I mean, challenges. Now, the education that was there to prepare, cultivate your mind, to be able to think and develop solutions to solve these challenges as you go day by day. You don't have to run to your chemistry book every time you solve one problem. You don't have to run to your economic book when you have to make a decision. But the ed education that prepares your mind a cultivator prepare your mind to be rational in thinking, developing solutions to solve all their problems. That's what I told you that the education has to be reflected in your action, in your decision making, your, your thought process, your attitude, your behavior. Those are the characteristics that people look at and say, that guy, that woman is educated. It's not just the paper. If you can apply the skill acquired, the knowledge acquired, you don't have it. I don't, I don't listen to people, I watch their action. I don't listen to words. I think about the intent of the words, the one who presented the words. I learned my observation. I like to put people under the microscope and watch their behavior. Then I associate myself with them. Then I learn about them. Then I understand why they behave the way they behave. There is difference between power, position, and leadership. You can have power and you're not in leadership. You can be in leadership and so now I don't have a position. <laughs> you know that? Well, people respect you, relate to you, they come to you for direction. You are in leadership. You don't have a position. Everything in the community will run to you. Nobody appointed you, nobody elected you, but everybody can come to you for help to direct them. But you are not elected or you are not appointed. So you got you in leadership, but no position. Then you got people who got position, but they don't have power. Then they got people who have power, but they're not in, they're not in leadership. <laughs> Election is the leading cause of violence in Africa. And when I see the violence, when I see everything, the behavior, the actions that will occur for violence to take place, I will tell you there will be violence. It doesn't mean I'm in favor of violence or I support it. I'm telling you. That's why some of you don't understand. You lack our comprehension skills. So when people speak and say there will be violence, instead of you listening to what they point out, it's all you promoting violence. There's difference between promoting violence and speaking about ingredients, I mean, behavior and attitude that are leading to violence. You don't understand these things. Oh, they're not promoting violence. Oh, they talk, no, no, no. Because you, you don't understand that. It's not a guy who speaks about what will happen, but it's a guy who responds for what will happen. The wish of the majority is the strength of every democracy. Everybody will not get what they want. Protect it. Shh. Look, invest all your time in it. I'm, I'm interested in preventing crisis. I don't believe in resolving crisis. The expenses to resolve is cheaper to prevent. I leave you with this about the American people and their, government, their system of government. 
Americans strongly believe that an enemy to an enemy is their friend. A friend who decides to be a friend to their enemy cannot be their friend. God bless you. May God prosper you.